ask for things. Really, like I know it's like, okay, what are you saying? Seriously, just ask for things. And I think do this as a practice, do this as a challenge, do it as whatever you will. But the, the goal is to kind of reprogram your way of thinking and to just live life and optimize the things you can get mathematically, purely mathematically. It's hard to not think emotionally, but I ask you this, is there anything that you want that someone else has the power to give you? Is there something that you want that someone else has the power to just hand to you? That can be, you want a client, you want someone to work with, you want a collaboration, you want a friendship, you want a date, you want a raise, you want something, you, you want that jacket <laughs> that you always see at, at their house and at, they, they never wear and it's been in the same corner for six months and you're just like, that's a nice jacket. You know what I mean? That might be a little weird, but stay with me, okay? And all I'm trying to kind of say is um, ask, ask for it. Just ask for it. Literally, the worst thing that can happen when you ask for things is they say no. The best thing is that you get what you want. Like you get what you want. And um, I think we really underestimate people. And I think we should start to take advantage of our nature, our nature as humans. And believe it or not, people like to do things for other people. I don't know who needs to hear this, but people like to do things for other people. This is obviously granted, you, you, there are good terms, you're a stand-up individual, there's no ill will or hostility towards people. Um, but ask, like ask for something. People like people and people like to feel good about themselves. So you'd be surprised if you go ask someone for something, what you're really doing is giving them an opportunity to be a good person. You're giving them the opportunity to help someone out, boost their self image. You're helping someone pay it forward. You're helping someone exercise the real altruism that's in all of us. You remember when you were a kid and the teacher praises one of your classmates for doing something kind? Or maybe your friend, maybe your kid shares their cookie with someone and the teacher goes, oh my God, great job, Jimmy. That's so nice. That's so sweet of you to share. Good job. And then the other kids are like, I'm sharing too. And the other kids want to start sharing with people and you feel inclined to like, I also am good. I'm a good person too. I think when we grow up, we become that teacher in a way where we start to observe what is a positive action, what's a negative one. And most people want to be in alignment with the positive things. They want their self image to be that they're a good person. So they'll actually do things to be that good person. And believe it or not, a large percentage of people daydream about how good of a person they might be in a certain situation. The human desire to be good, maybe that's a social thing, who knows? I don't know. But what I'm saying is that take it to your advantage. Everybody wins. If you ask for something and they don't give it to you, fine. If you ask for something and they do give it to you, you didn't force them, it's because they wanted to. It did something for them. As long as you are, pause, time out. I am not saying to coerce people. Obviously, I'm not saying to um, intimidate people. So if it's someone who's like timid and easily intimidated or has anxiety, like you, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, those little specific nuances navigate, okay? But I'm talking from a universal standpoint and to mathematically optimize your chances for getting everything you want in life, ask for everything. Ask for that job, ask for that internship or job at that place that's so many light years above where your perceived space is, ask for it. Ask for it. You don't like where your desk sits at work, but it's been sitting there for two and a half years, but you really want to move it to that other office that has a nice window that like overlooks the city, ask for it. Literally ask for it. Worst he'll say is no, but if you don't say anything, no one's going to just think, huh, I should go give Desi that, that corner office by the... No one's gonna do that. You have to fend for yourself. You have to provide for yourself. You have to spread as many seeds across your reality and give them the opportunity to germinate and flourish. A lot of the seeds, most of the seeds aren't gonna take, but you owe it as the parent of yourself, 
And when I say parent, you know, parent is responsible for growing this thing. They're supposed to be trying to optimize their growth so that they grow as much as they can. You are your parent. So if you're required to try to set yourself up to get the things that you really, really desire. So plant those seeds, ask, do the work, always be doing the work. This, this is a, that's understood though. And I'm thinking for the people in this audience, you guys understand that already that this has to accompany being a good person and doing the work but just ask this was quick this was really random but it was just on my chest and the other day the other day i got inclined to wake up and send 30 cold emails to people who i thought might make cool mural clients i was like yo i think i could do some cool stuff on your wall you want one <laughs> that's not how the email went it was a lot more a much better email but you know i scheduled that to go out and then i kind of forgot about it I'm not gonna lie and when i saw these messages start to pour in it's like oh right we really are just people in this intricate social network system on this floating marble in space you're gonna ask people for things and they'll say yes and shake your hand gladly and, and you'd be surprised. So please just just think about something that you want that someone else has the potential to give you and ask for it. But ask for it earnestly, ask for it humbly, just ask for it in a genuine manner, you know? Tell them why you want it, just state your case. I really like that. I've been looking at it for a long time and I just like it so much. And I wanted, I was just, I wanted to ask if you think I could have it. I'd be really ha appreciative. <laughs> that's your that's your honest that's your honest plea just like i really like this could i have it or even if you want to buy it can i buy it from you like well, there are things we want to do and we just don't do it because we think it's socially weird like i love that that thing you have in the corner could i buy that more still say is no but maybe they'll be like actually yeah i hate that thing i got it as a gift and da, 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 da. you please take it like you never know you never know um anyway that's all i had just something just something quick that somebody hopefully will find some use from. Just ask, ask, cause they will give it to you. Do not underestimate how much we wanna feel good about ourselves as humans, how much we wanna feel altruistic and how we want our self image to be associated with doing the nice, the right thing for people, helping people, bringing people up. So ask for stuff, they got it and they'll give it to you if it's meant for you. I never understood the value of cold calls because I know how I am. It's like, if you call me cold, like trying to sell me something, absolutely not, wrong number. Like I'm really bad about those calls. I'm really sorry, that's that's how I am. And maybe it's because I work in marketing. I just, you know, but I realized that cold calls work. I realized that cold emails work. I didn't know that, but there are a lot of people who will open them and say, okay, sure. And I recognize that at my company, even recently, we got a cold email from some company or something, you know, requesting, hey, can we give you guys a demo for our service? And we were just like, sure, why not? And I was like, okay, nice. That person asked and got a yes. And they're probably like, yes, ask and you shall receive. Moral of the story. <laughs>